you to welcome back, guys. So、uh, today I'm going to、uh, go over how to、uh, fix your MMS not、uh, sending or、uh, receiving after、uh, you do the enjoy、uh, latest、uh, update. So there are many of the steps that I'm going to go over with. So first of all, you need to、uh, do the soft、uh, restart or reboot your phone. You can simply by、uh, just、uh, dragging it down, okay? And then、uh, there's a on and off button right here. You want to go ahead and then、uh, turn it off or、uh, reboot it or restart, and then、uh, just、uh, click on restart. And that will automatically restart your phone. I mean, it should、uh, reboot by itself. All right. So once your phone、uh, reboot, you need to enter your PIN number. Okay, and then、uh, you're gonna go ahead and then、uh, go to your text message and see if it's working or not. If that still doesn't work, you're gonna go to the second step, which is a、uh, hard reset. For、uh, this one, is the Note 20、uh, Ultra 5G. It should be similar to、uh, S20, S21, or、uh, Note、uh, 10. For this one, you need to press the、uh, volume down and then the power. Hold it down at the same time. Keep on holding it until it、uh, shuts off. Okay, and that is the hard restart or reboot. So now the phone is off. You should automatically、uh, restart the phone by itself. All right. Once again, once the phone is booted up, you need to enter the original PIN number or the swipe. And then you're gonna go ahead and、um, open your message again and send a. I know the text message sending and receiving should be working, but the MMS, you need to test a picture or a screenshot of、uh, what you take and send it to、uh, your friends or family, and then test it out. And if that still doesn't work, the number three method is to.、Uh, Go to your、uh, setting. You're gonna go and then、uh, click on the setting gear icon, and you're gonna scroll down until you see、uh, apps right here. And then you're gonna scroll down to、uh, message, which is the message、uh, app. I believe I have、uh, two of them, so. All right, so you're gonna go look for a message. This is the one that I use now, so I'm gonna click on that. So after you go to the message, you wanna go and in, go into your、uh, storage, and then、uh, right here, you wanna go ahead and then,、uh, clear the cache first. And then after that, you're gonna clear the data, and then、uh, press OK. And then after that, you're gonna go and go back to the message app, and then test out your MMS if it's working or not. Alright, so if that still doesn't work, let's go and go to the number fourth method. You're gonna go to your setting again, and then、uh, go to your apps.
Gonna go to your message again. And then you want to click on uh, for stop. Okay, and then press OK. You're going to test out your MMS uh, message again. And uh, if that still doesn't work, you want to go to uh, the fifth uh, method. Make sure your battery is not on the battery saving mode, okay? You're going to drag down the icon right here. And be sure that your power saving mode, it is not on. Normally when it's on, it will show the blue like that, okay? And then be sure to turn it off. Okay? And then after that, you're going to test out again on your uh, MMS. And if that still doesn't work, we're going to go through the sixth uh, method. You're going to do the drop down menu. And then uh, be sure your uh, mobile data it is on. If it's off like that, you most likely you're not going to receive your uh, MMS. And then uh, the seventh method is to uh, turn on and off your Wi-Fi. So once you turn it off, be sure your uh, signal string is at least uh, two to three bar. And sometimes if you don't have enough signal, your MMS is not going to come through the network. So you're going to test out without the Wi-Fi. And then after that, if it starts working, then uh, turn the Wi-Fi back on. And then uh, number eight uh, method is to uh, try to turn on and off the airplane mode. So you want to go ahead and turn it on. And then uh, after like uh, 20, 30 seconds, you're going to turn it off. And then you're going to test out your MMS again, okay? And if that still doesn't work, you want to go ahead and then uh, wipe out the partition on your Android phone. All right, so uh, in order to uh, wipe out uh, your partition on your Android, you need to power off the phone. And then uh, once you do that, when you power uh, on your phone, you're going to go ahead and uh, press and hold down the volume up key and then the power at the same time, okay? Until you see the menu that's popping up. Okay? And then uh, you get to this menu, you let go. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, scroll down to uh, wipe cache uh, partition. Do not do the white data factory uh, reset. If you do that, you're going to uh, wipe out everything on your phone, which is not good. So just select the white, uh, press the arrow going down until you see uh, this one, white cache uh, partition and then you're going to press the power to confirm it and then uh, you need to scroll down and then click on yes and then once you do that it's going to go back to the main uh, menu and then you need to uh, reboot system now which is the top one right there and then uh, press the power to confirm it and it's gonna reboot after uh, you wipe your uh, cache, okay? And then that would not DD anything on your phone, so don't need to worry about that, okay? And you enter your password again, or pin number. So number 10 uh, method is to uh, update all your apps. So you're gonna go to your uh, Google uh, Play Store 
and then you're gonna click on your name and then you're gonna go ahead and click on my apps and it's checking for update so be sure to check out all the updates but mainly you want to go ahead and then uh, make sure your message uh, app is being updated so just uh, click on update all and then uh, once uh, everything is updated you want to go and then uh, test out your uh, message app again or your MMS that is to make sure you uh, update to the latest uh, Android by doing that you need to go ahead and go to your uh, setting and then just uh, scroll all the way down to uh, software update and right here you'll go ahead and then uh, download and install you will search for the new and latest update since I update mine it says uh, your software is up to date so I don't need to update anything okay and after that you're gonna go ahead and go to your uh, message app do a test on the MMS is to uh, reset the network you want to go ahead and go to your uh, setting you want to go to uh, general management and then uh, you're going to scroll down until you see uh, reset and you want to go ahead and uh, reset network setting so this will reset all uh, network setting including those for the Wi-Fi mobile data and Bluetooth so you need to uh, enter your Wi-Fi password again once you did this okay so I'm not going to do mine since I already uh, did it before already and then after that you're going to test your uh, message app again that is to check your uh, access uh, point name or uh, APN so this is uh, pretty critical by the way that was a problem that I have uh, encountered once I update to the latest uh, Android uh, update and that somehow this time around it uh, wiped out everything on my phone and I contact my AT&T uh, they told me normally that's uh, due to the unlocked device so if you have an unlocked uh, device that's using the Android normally that you need to uh, double check on this so you need to go to your setting gear icon right here and then you're gonna go to uh, connection on the top and uh, once you get to the connection you're gonna go to your mobile uh, network and you're gonna go to scroll down to access uh, point names so before I only got this uh, AT&T NXT Gen uh, phone but I cannot go in there and edit I don't know why so I had to click on add and then uh, once I click on add then I could uh, go in there and then uh, add the name APM and everything so this is uh, what I did so after you click on add be sure to enter the name NXT GEN phone. Everything has to be uh, capitalized, okay? So it's the APN and then the MMSC. Be sure to enter HTTP colon backward slash backward slash mmsc dot mobile m o b i l e dot a t t dot net and then uh, for the multimedia message proxy be sure to enter p r o x y dot m o b i l e dot a t t dot net and then uh, this is a uh, critical multimedia message port has to be 80 
be sure to enter A0. And so AT&T representative uh, technical support screw up. They forgot to enter the one that is going to show on the below, which is the APN uh, type. Be sure it is not just a default. Originally, it was on the default. But you need to enter the comma MMS, comma SUPL, comma HIPRI. So if you don't enter that, most likely your MMS is not going to come through. That was my main problem. So after I enter that, the message that you try to download, it automatically uh, come through. And then uh, I uh, just uh, leave the IPv4 alone instead of IPv6. So if you have an AT&T phone, you most likely going to press the three dot right there and then just uh, reset to default. Okay. So since uh, this is unlocked at the uh, Note 20 Ultra 5G, I will need to enter it manually. And somehow when I did the update, it uh, wiped out everything. I don't understand why, because uh, previously it was working fine. After I did the latest uh, Android update, it just uh, cleared out everything and no longer uh, working for my MMS. So I did enter this uh, manually. All right, so the last step was uh, to contact your AT&T carrier or if you have a T-Mobile carrier or Sprint or Verizon or uh, Crooked Wireless, uh, Metro PCS or Simple Mobile or uh, Mint Mobile. So I believe uh, Mint Mobile, you need to enter uh, the APM to fix your uh, MMS. So anyway, hopefully uh, you guys uh, give a thumbs up and be sure to drop on the comments on below to see uh, which method work for you guys or fix your problem. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.